This is the solution to written homework 37. <coughs> okay, so for part A, the total value of the money flow, well, that is integral 0 to 5, and then f of t, so that'd be 20,000 uh, t plus 1,000 dt. <coughs> well, we can use the fundamental theorem. So that goes to t squared over 2, and that's just a constant. So over 2, that's 10,000 t squared, and then plus 1,000 t, and then evaluated from 0 to 5. That's nice that one of the evaluation points is 0. So plugging in 5, <coughs> 10,000 times 5 squared plus 1,000 times 5. That's mm, 255, zero, zero, 0, minus 0. So the total value of the money flow, oops, total value of the money flow is 255,000. Part B. Present value of the money flow. Okay. That's where you transport all the bits of money backwards in time to the beginning. So that's 0 to 5, and then exponential negative, watch, 0.065t, and then multiplied by. 20,000 T plus 1,000 DT. And just as a reminder, <coughs> what this factor is doing, uh, conceptually you might think, is uh, that it transports all the bits of money backwards in time, which is why uh, it's negated. <coughs> okay. So in order to do this, We'll have to do integration by parts. So this is an exponential factor. And this is <coughs> an algebraic factor. As a result, in, in by parts, we're going to select that u is the algebraic part, 20,000t plus 1,000, and dv is everything else, so then du is 20,000dt, and v is that exponential divided by that constant. So exponential negative 0.065t and then divided by negative 0.065. Okay, then the right hand side by parts is product uv. <coughs> so that would be 20,000t plus thousand, oops, yeah, u, uh, v, exponential negative 0 0.065 t, and then divided by negative 0 0.065, this evaluated from 0 to 5, and then minus the integral from 0 to 5 of v du, <coughs> So that would be exponential negative 0 
t divided by negative 0 0.065 times 20,000 dt. Okay. <clears throat> so we can evaluate some of this. So for the evaluation, I'll evaluate all of this at 5 and then subtract get a zero. So, oops, 20,000 times 5 plus 1,000 and then times uh, exponential negative 0 0.065 times 5 and then divided by negative 0 0.065. Okay, <clears throat> so for this first value, that's negative, uh, how much is that? So that's one, one million, so negative one million one hundred and twenty two thousand six hundred and ninety six point thirty five and then minus all of that evaluated at zero. So let's plug in zero. 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 <coughs> so minus negative, how much is that? 15,000, so 15,000 Three eight four point six one five three eight. Okay, and then now for this uh, integral, I'll simplify it as much as possible before I do it. So in the first place, those negatives will cancel. So then I'll say plus. And then I'll go ahead and divide 20,000 by that number. 20,000 divided by 0 0.065. So plus, how much is that? 307,692.3077. And then <clears throat> integral of 0 to 5, uh, exponential negative 0 0.065 t t. So that's canceling the negative, dividing the constant 20,000 over 0 0.065 and pulling that out front. Okay, so then this is so then negative 1 million one hundred twenty two thousand uh, six hundred ninety six point thirty five and then plus because it's minus a negative fifteen thousand three hundred eighty four point six one five three eight so this first number in the front is negative one million one hundred seven thousand three hundred eleven uh, point seven three five and then to that we'll add this integral so three oh seven six nine two point three zero seven seven times exponential negative zero point zero six five t over negative 0 0.065 from 0 to 5. <coughs> okay, so then this will be, so that number, <coughs> negative 1,107,311.7353.
point seven three five. Seven three five. And then plus, I'll go ahead and divide this number uh, by that number, so so that in fact it will be minus after that. So minus. So three zero seven six nine two point three zero seven seven divide by zero point zero six five. Okay, so this number will be <coughs> uh, watch four seven. Four million seven hundred thirty-three thousand. No, seven hundred thirty-three thousand. Seven hundred twenty-seven point eight one one. And then now this needs to be multiplied by <coughs> exponential. Um, negative 0 0.065. So this number multiplied by exponential of negative 0 0.065 uh, multiplied by 5 minus uh, exponential of 0 because that's what you get when you plug in 0. Okay, so then that number So then multiplied by that expression. So exponential negative 0 0.065 times 5 minus 1, which is the exponential of 0. That number, oops. Okay, so then after that, that will be, so this first number, so negative 1,107,311.735. And then now plus, one million. 313,479.983. Now add those together. Adding those together, the answer is uh, 206,000. Well, 0 0.2478. 0.2478. Rounded to the nearest cent. The answer is $206,168.25. So the total value of the money flow is $255,000, uh, but because there's interest involved, the present value is slightly less at $206,000-ish. And then for part C, the formula is exponential 0 0.065 uh, times uh, 5. 
so that number times 5, and then the integral 0 to 5 of this same thing that wrote right here. <coughs> so I'll just, there's not enough horizontal space to write it, so I'll just write dot 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 dt, that is to say this whole value, this goes right here which is to say just use that previous value so that's exponential 0 0.065 times 5 and then times 206,168.2478. So exponential 0 0.065 times 5, and then times 206,168. 2478 point 2478 point 2478 is 285,000 343 1732 and therefore rounded to the nearest cent the answer is 285,343 dollars and 17 cents <coughs> so the answers to the exercise are these There's one, there's the second one, part B, and here's the last one. <coughs>